somebody is coming in with a message that is heartfelt, that creates an opportunity for you to think about this connection in a different way. Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading for December 2020. If you are interested in learning more about your connection, if you're in a partnership, or if you just want to learn more about what's coming for you in love, this is your reading. My name is Amanda. I'm at Luna Sync Tarot. And if this reading resonates with you, please consider hitting the like button. It helps these videos to be seen by others. And also consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you here. I have shuffled your cards off camera. <clears throat> I'm give them one last shuffle here, and then we'll sync up. If you're interested in a personal reading, I'm doing those now. The link is below in the description box. So let's cut your deck three ways. In the position of you is the Four of Pentacles holding on to something. Reservation, conservatism. I always have a hard time saying that word. Conserving. In the position of the person you're thinking about is the Eight of Wands. Fast communication. Um, this card is sometimes called the arrows of love or Cupid's arrows. So it's a message of love. It's communication around love. Sometimes it has to do with travel. Somebody may be traveling to see you. Let's move on to the composite energies. I just want to give this one last shuffle. Three times. <clears throat> I feel you focused on something else though here, Aquarius. In the composite energy, we have the Five of Cups. This is some sort of loss. There may be some distance between you. You may have, may have had a disappointment in love. And in the insight, we have the Knight of Cups. Oh, this is beautiful. Somebody coming in with an offering of love. An action that is taken around love. All right, well, let's clarify. <clears throat> so, the arrows, the Eight of Wands, the arrows of love are facing in the opposite direction of you. You're looking that way, they're looking that way. The message is going that way, you're holding on going that way. Um, so there's some sort of, it's not completely matched here. How do they feel about you in December? <clears throat> How do they feel about Aquarius in December? In the composite energy, there is um, a feeling of emotional loss focused on what is gone. There are two cups behind this person that are upright. There are three cups that are tipped over. This is how they feel about you when they think about you. This is the five of pentacles. It's idealistic love. It's romantic. It's like the ultimate romantic fantasy, right? They're on a balcony. There's a violin. They're embraced and kissing. Um, the five of pentacles typically though in the traditional deck is being left out in the cold. So there is some sort of disconnect happening here for you around this connection in December. They are romanticizing this connection and yet at the same time feeling left out of it as if it's not theirs, as if it doesn't belong to them. And there is this swift moving action around some communication of love, some heartfelt emotional communication. How do you feel about them? Somebody does come in. The insight is somebody needs to take action around their emotions. I don't know if it's you or them. This is how you feel about them. There's two cards that came out. We have the Six of Cups. Somebody from the past, nostalgic. Look at how this woman is looking into the mirror or looking at a painting of two people embraced in a passionate kiss and remembering and longing for this time that has passed. So it could be a past lover that you're dealing with here in December. 
this disconnect is really causing you to feel nostalgic and, and longing for that connection again. And then we also have the Ace of Swords. I feel like in this connection, the masculine was able to assume a great deal of vulnerability, allowing you to take the lead. The Ace of Swords is some sort of truth and clarity, a new beginning where it comes to a way of thinking, a belief system. The imagery here, though, is that the feminine is dominating the masculine in a playful way. So that is how you see the connection here in December. Let's look at the composite energies, which is the Five of Cups. <clears throat> What is this five of cups about? We have the five of pentacles, which is kind of being left out in the cold, poverty mentality, neglect. We have the five of cups, which is a, an emotional disappointment, a loss of some sort. So I do feel like there is distance between you. Um, it could be that your connection is traveling toward you with the eight of wands coming out so strongly with a message of love. The inside is the knight of cups which is action taken around love. So somebody wants to come back in fast. <laughs> Eight of Wands is swift movement. Whoa. And Knight of Cups is fast action. <clears throat> I'm going to pull just one card. That was like a whole slew of cards. So let's focus. Five of Cups here. This is the composite energy. Can you clarify the Five of Cups, please? Silence, yeah. There is distance and silence between the two of you right now. Let's keep going with clarification around the Five of Cups. Why this distance? Why this silence? I also want to look into the challenge. What is their challenge? And what is... Oh, we got the Four of pentacles again <clears throat> why i asked why this distance why this silence somebody's holding on holding on to their emotions not letting their emotions flow um it's it's a it feels restrained constrained like nope i'm not giving it up somebody's stubborn potentially it could be you because you have the four of pentacles that came out immediately for you holding on to something in a way in such a way that it it sort of enhances the silence, enhances this distance between the two of you. So something needs to be let go of. What is their challenge where it comes to this connection in December? Why this distance? King of Cups. I think this came out in the reverse. It's hard to tell. It fell down like that, but let's read it. I'll give you both interpretations. Um, the King of Cups reverse is somebody who's out of um, touch with their emotions. They're struggling emotionally, overwhelmed by emotions, capable of having great emotion. But in the reverse, it's sort of a um, just feeling very overwhelmed, not able to contain their emotion in a way that serves them. It's sort of emotions run amok. In the upright, it's mastery of the emotional realm. This is somebody who is very generous, spiritually generous, emotionally generous, very giving, very nurturing. This is their challenge. So overwhelmed by emotions right now. And what is your challenge, Aquarius? That was the chariot, but it came out with a bunch of other cards. Moving forward <clears throat> could be your challenge. Moving forward, there may have been some sort of conflict between you. You're still holding on to the feelings, to the emotional residue of that conflict. And moving forward, letting that go and moving forward could be your challenge. An emotional block. This is your challenge. See how she has her heart blocked with these two swords? It's also um, going within. Look how she has the blindfold on her face, on her eyes. She's blocking out all external stimulation in order to find the truth, to make the decision, to make the choice. So somebody is blocked here. It is coming, that energy is coming from your side, Aquarius, this holding on energy and this blocked energy. And at the, 
it, I do feel like your connection is overwhelmed by their emotions. They do feel left out in the cold. They have this romantic, um, idealistic perspective of you and your love connection. They want to come in with a message of love. And somebody will take action around this love connection, around their emotions when it comes to this. You do feel still nostalgic. You are thinking about them. <clears throat> You like their emotional vulnerability. What is this Knight of Cups? What is this Knight of Cups? Um, what do we want to use? I'm going to use this deck. Who's coming in with a message of love? Knight of Swords. Wow, there will be some action. Some action is needed. This is um, clarifying the Knight of Cups in the position of the insight. So action is needed. Action does seem to be coming in. This knight comes in with the truth. This knight comes in with a new way of looking at things, a new perspective, a new way of thinking. This knight comes in with an emotional offering, an offer in love. It could be that your partner is coming in. You or your partner, vice versa, the energy sometimes swaps. Somebody is coming in with a message that is heartfelt that creates an opportunity for you to think about this connection in a different way. Wow. Let's look at, because there's been separation and silence in your connection, let's look at what they have to say to you right now. What do they have to say to Aquarius? What do they have to say to Aquarius? I do get the sense, a strong sense, that this, this person is very um, emotional, able to be emotionally vulnerable, um, currently overwhelmed by their emotions, wanting to communicate the way that they feel, wanting to come in to offer you something, a new uh, emotional beginning, a new way of thinking about things. There we go. So many things remind me of you. So you are on their mind. On their mind. For sure. What do you want to say to them? Oops. I feel like you are trying to move out of this blocked energy. Here's what you want to say to them. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. I do feel like you're trying to move out of this blocked energy, but it's it's here strong. Um, this holding on on your side is very strong. Four of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Two of Swords. You are feeling certainly nostalgic about this connection. There is a sense of emotional loss, distance, and silence. You felt like you learned something and it might have stung and they are definitely, I feel like it maybe took more of an emotional toll on you than it may have on them in terms of like your reaction. So your reaction is one of defense and blocking and holding on and their reaction is one of like deep emotion, vulnerability, overwhelmed by their emotions. Um, and they are deep in their feels for sure. Let's look at, I'm going to pull a goddess card of guidance for you, Aquarius, on how to sort of navigate this, like some advice or guidance on how to navigate this connection in December. <clears throat> Past life just popped up. So yeah, again, six of cups energy, Past life, past soulmate connection happening here. Guidance for Aquarius, please. Oh, siege, quiet time. So we have the silence card here in the composite energies, and then we have this as the card of guidance. Take some time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. If you do need some support in letting go and... um freeing your heart, opening up emotionally. This does seem to be the advice for you. Let's read about, I think it's pronounced siege. 
Let's see. Let's siege. <laughs> okay. Do you see that? All right. Quiet your mind, breathe, and let go of words, worry, and plans. Go into that space of silence deep within you, that vortex of peace where the world doesn't enter. Ah. Remember when we talked about blocking out external stimulation in order to find the answer going within? <clears throat> see. Now is the time to retreat in silence and spend time alone. I'll lovingly help you rejuvenate and recenter yourself. Don't try to make any decisions now. Just allow your mind to be at rest. You'll soon know when it's time to take action. In action, we have two cards of action in the insight. But for now, quiet your mind and rest. So these are the various meanings of this card. Go on a retreat. Listen more and talk less. <clears throat> Avoid loud noise and sounds. Meditate. Surrender mind chatter to heaven. Know that you're more sensitive to noise now. Wow. Siege. It is pronounced siege. Siege is the Gnostic goddess who is considered to be the great silence or void from which all creation sprang. Whoa. Siege. Tap into siege, Aquarius. Siege reminds us that words create duality and that in silence we find our true origin and self. Quiet is omnipresent power that gives birth to wisdom. Just as the goddess, wait, hold on. Just as the Gnostics hold that siege is the mother of Sophia, the goddess of wisdom. Siege teaches that our roots are in the, in the silent void of the universe and that it's important for us to reconnect with silence regularly. So this seems to be some sort of key in supporting you in moving forward in this connection or through this connection or through December at this time, navigating this connection. Wow, Aquarius, if this reading resonated with you, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel and um, I hope you take really good care in December. It does seem like your partner here is in it emotionally, that they want to come toward you with a message of love. Um, and with action around love and a new way of thinking about this connection. So yeah, positivity on their side coming toward you, which is a beautiful thing. I'm wishing you the best. Take good care.